Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and thanks so much for coming back to watch me finish emptying this big bag of jewelry from our 45 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. This is bag number four, so we're almost done with all of that jewelry, and then we're going to move on to another video series. So, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe and give the channel, or give the video a like if you like it, and stick around for what we're going to do next, okay? There's lots of great jewelry in this video, too. So thank you very much. Next, this looks like um, a Premier Designs piece to me. Let's see if that's what the tag says. Yes, so that little swirly tag, if you see that, that is Premier Designs. And they make some beautiful jewelry. I don't know if they have um, sterling plating, but it always looks like it on their jewelry. And they have lovely teal and turquoise colors, it seems, a lot. Wow, look how they wrap the chain around that piece. Very pearlescent. Does feel acrylic. But what great shape that's in. That is so pretty. Nice long extension. The whole piece is 40 inches long. So let's get out our buster. And then I'm going to offer some other jewelry that I have, which is always fun. So this is how it looks in the long version. And then I'll wrap it around a bit and show you how it looks on the neck so you can get a look at those beads. Really great shape. I mean, look at the condition. Perfect. And these sort of crackly pearlescent beads with the lovely soft turquoise color. Premier design. You can't go wrong. This is beautiful. Wow. I will say a nice long necklace like that. I'm going to say 18. And if it doesn't go, I'm going to try to get back to making my color jewelry bags. Um, it's really hard because they take a lot of time, but I do want to do that. So we'll see what happens. Florida Roots. There's a dolphin. There's some cute little danglies. Um, let's see if I can try to read $20 was the original price. It doesn't say anything about the materials, except that I can tell you that's coconut shell. And then we have faceted AB beads, which are beautiful. Living in Florida for 23 years, coconuts were, you could find them all the time. They would just fall right out of the trees and, and you could enjoy them. It was really fun. This is either nice glass or a gemstone this very colorful one. See that with the very, with the red and orange colors? I would call it glass. I don't want to say it's a gemstone if it's not, but it's pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So we have that bracelet. It is a stretch, really good stretch. Excellent. I'm going to leave it right on the card, and I'm going to say five on that. Okay, now I have been organizing and organizing, getting ready for a move, and all the while I am also buying jewelry where I can, so I thought I would offer some of the pieces that I've had. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, a lot of times with the unboxing, I might put something aside and say that I'll price it later, and I don't always get to everything. So I'm going to try to get to some of those pieces now. So this is a sterling silver and cobalt blue glass bracelet. You might remember this if you've been with me for a while. And all it needed was the jump ring to just be closed. So I fixed it, closed it back up, and here it is. It's all sterling. We tested it before on a previous video. And let me see, the tag probably says 925 Italy. It says 925, 
Now I can't read the other side of it. It's an oldie for sure. And the cobalt blue glass has those raised little pieces on both sides. Nice, all sterling. And my measurer went where? Where'd you go? Here it is. This measures seven and a quarter. Cobalt blue glass and sterling bracelet. And I'll say 22 on that piece, okay? And it says fixed clasp and there's a check there meaning I did it. So that's my system. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, and then I have, sometimes you all love these sterling silver Alex and Anis, so I'm going to offer some of these. Some of them can have some pretty cool charms. Now I mark, you know I mark each thing with everything I've done. So this one has, is all sterling silver, but the pendant is not, or the charm. So 925, yes, pendant, no and it says laugh on it. So you do have all sterling if you wanted to use that for something else or if you just like to wear them. And I'll say five on that. This is nine to five bracelet pendant is not. And you have like a Mariner's type thing. And I'll say for the sterling on that, $5. I'm wondering you know, I don't like to see things thrown out or sold for scrap. I'm wondering, you could probably open this up and you have really nice gauge wire to make things with. For $5, you've got a long piece of sterling gauge wire. That's an idea. For those that make jewelry, is that worth $5 of sterling? Let me know. This is sterling bracelet and a sterling pendant. So here you go with the solid sterling pendant with some kind of a cross on it. And the back says Alex and Annie, 2012. So all sterling on this one, I'll say seven on that. Next one, sterling bracelet, not sterling pendant. So perhaps worth $5 for the wire gauge, not sure. But there you go. Or maybe you love it that way. This is the all sterling bracelet that has the Eiffel Tower, and it is also sterling. I tested all of this with you on the camera. Um, so we have this one, and I will say $6 on this piece. I think if you wanted this alone, it would probably be $6 for a sterling charm like that, maybe more. So I hope that's a good deal. And then we have a 925 bracelet, and this part is not. So again, maybe it's worth the $5 for the wire. So that's those. And a few pieces from maybe this video or another. Oh, I think this is from the 38 pound. So this is an all sterling earring threader, but there's just one. So if you wanted one, like I have my ears pierced and then I have an extra piercing on the left, <clears throat> maybe you could use it for that. Or maybe for crafting, I don't know, but it is all sterling. And I'll say $4 on that piece. Then I have a pair of Robert Lee Morris 925 Italy Diadema. They are signed. The earrings are pierced and they clip like this. Sorry about my paper, it just keeps them organized. So they clip this way. They're all marked right there on that piece. You see that? There you go. So Robert Lee Morris earrings. I've got one one way and one the other. There you go. And I know these are expensive. And this is probably the artistic verdigris look. 
So I'll say $12 on these. What else do I have in my little bag of goodies? Ooh, these are so pretty. So these are sterling silver TMA cubic zirconia. The backs are also TMA and sterling. So you have sterling prong set CZ earrings and sterling silver backs. So I hope you love those. They're a great replacement to diamonds. Very pretty. And I'll say 16 on that pair. Sterling silver backs too. These are mahogany jasper sterling silver earrings. Aren't they lovely? So we did test them again on probably my 38 pound series of videos. All sterling wires, beautiful piece of mahogany jasper, and I love the end beads. These have nice weight, the earring gauge wires are nice and heavy, and so are these. So really good quality. I'm gonna say 22 on these, beautiful. Now, last but not least, there is a swank tie clip. And it is sterling. It says sterling on the bottom, and it says swank. So if you know anyone that needs a nice, real, precious metal tie clip, there you go. And I'll say 15 on that. Nice piece. Let's see. Should I pull out the biggie, biggie, biggie? I don't know. I don't know if I know how to price it yet. I got something so beautiful. Oh. I just don't even, okay, um, I have to show you how beautiful these earrings are. So they, again, are all sterling silver, and look at these earrings. They have rose quartz, um, probably spiny oyster, um, mother pearl, it's hard to tell, but they're very thick, heavy sterling earrings. Let me see what they're marked inside. 925. I'm trying to see if they're signed. They do have an issue, though. The stones on them seem to have been glued on. I don't know why. They're real stones, and they're very beautiful earrings. All the stones are there on both earrings. The coloration is gorgeous. I'll show you the pinks and the... But for some reason, there's a little bit of a glue issue. But they're beautiful. So if you can take a look at them closely, maybe take them off and re-glue or do something, they are definitely going to be worth it because they're gorgeous. Or you could wear them like that. I don't think there's an issue with the glue. And I'm going to say 20 on those. If they were not a little bit of a glue issue, these would be $45 earrings. So I'll say 20 and see if someone can do something with that, okay? So that's another lovely piece. And then I have this onyx necklace. Oh, it's so cold and pretty. This is why I thought my other necklace was green onyx, because this black onyx looks just like my other piece. So it is all sterling chain. It looks like it has a gold wash over it. Maybe it was a vermeil. It's signed 925. It's been tested to be all sterling. And then this is all onyx. All the beads. This measures... Um, 20 inches, a little bit longer than 20 inches. It moves lovely. It sounds lovely. So for all that onyx on that 20 inch, was it? Um, I will say 30 on that piece, okay? So let me know if you love that one. And I'm still digging into my sterling silver box. I've had this for a while, it's so pretty. This necklace, there we go. 
all sterling barrel clasp. It's on liquid silver and it has these little turquoise beads at the end. It's not so pretty. Liquid, that's what that means, 925 and a check mark means I tested it. It is 16 inches. It's in wonderful condition. It feels great, it moves great, and it's such a sweet little necklace. So we have that one for all sterling, liquid sterling and turquoise, 16 inch, I will say, um, see if you can do that, that's a good piece. I'm gonna say 18 on that, okay? And then I have this very cool wire wrap sterling ring. It's probably kind of small, it looks small. It's just a fun piece. And it measures about a size six. So double wire sterling silver wrap ring. And again, I have it tested. So we have that piece and I'll say $12 on that. I think that's it. I could keep going and going and going. I, I do, I have to show you this. Okay. I have to show you this necklace that I got, but I don't know what I'm going to do about a price yet, but I'll give you a peek. Now get ready and sit down. <laughs> and you know I've been on a bit of a Larimar kick because it's rare, it's hard to find. So I have been on a Larimar kick and this is part of what I found. So get ready. It's a necklace, beautiful sterling clasp and chain and all my gosh. Okay, do, do we need to talk? So if you go online and you look up the Larimar rock itself, I'm pretty sure this is Larimar because that's all the other matrix that Larimar has. Isn't that so beautiful? It looks like a beach with the sky or waves. I am just stunned. All sterling, heavy, beautiful piece. I don't know what to... I don't know what to do. It's just stunning. So I had to show you. <laughs> if someone is in love with it, do let me know and I'll, I'll try to find a price. But I guess I should measure the size of the stone and probably weigh the sterling. But I just, I was going to behave myself and not bring it out today. It's almost two inches across here for the stone. And look how thick it is. Beautiful craftsmanship, great quality, and this chain is just nice and thick and a great clasp. So that has got to be the prettiest glam I've ever seen, except for the ring that I have. And we'll see what to do about that. So let me know. Okay, so that's a couple of my special pieces I wanted to bring out. And let's see if we have any matching earrings on our crazy earring thing to offer you. And then I'm going to go on this video. Got this pair. So these have some artistic verdigris over copper. And they're a gold tone pierced earring with purple beads and different gold tones, and I'll say $3 on those. Do we have both of these? Not yet. Not those. Um, nope. And someone asked me for the leopard looking earrings um, through an email, so I got those put aside for them. I do have these faux pearl earrings that are in like a figure eight. The earring wires look like the kind that would be marked. So let me take a peek on that. Mm 
It's getting dark, so it's not easy with this. Hmm. Let's use the magnet. That's always a quick way. Yeah, they're not sticking to the magnet. So maybe we have like some gold hooks or gold filled. Um, I don't like taking your time like this. I'm just going to say that they're not magnetic. I'm not seeing a mark right now. And I'll just say five on these, okay? That's those earrings. Let's see what else we can find quickly, and then we can finish the craft jar. Let's try to find some earrings. There seems to be a lot in here. That one. Ooh. That's pretty. That's pretty. What are you? An earring? Yep. Yeah. And another. Oh, I love these. These are always so valuable because there's silver pearl necklaces I can match them with. Nice. Very nice. Some more. So we'll do some earrings. Those feel cold. Ooh. Nice. Try to find the other one of these. This one. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the other one that's on our Wait for Your Mate board. So, hey, your mate showed up. These are nice glass pearls with the disco ball in the middle. Really good quality. Nice and heavy glass, but not too heavy to wear. And here's the other one. Great pair of earrings. Just make sure everything hangs well. Come on, I know you've been waiting for your mate for a while, but your mate is here. Oh, is that disconnected? Oh, bummer. It is. Oh, these are such nice quality. Hmm. Let me hold it still so you can see if you can fix it. So that, I think, is disconnected from there. But these should be around the front. Oh, bummer, they're such a nice quality. All those beautiful beads. If you can fix those, I would say five. They're worth five to be fixed. They're worth a lot more otherwise. Such good quality, so five on those. Then we have these silver tone faux pearls silver tone wire pierced and they are magnetic great condition nice color bluish silver and i'll say four dollars on those what are you these feel very cold cat eye glass or maybe this is true cat eye quartz. Let's find out. It is cat eye glass in a yellow color. And they are on lever backs that is in like a gun metal. And then they have this very beautiful AB crystal in between. Really pretty. If you need something yellow and striking, that's a great earring. I'll say $8 on those. Okay, and look at these clip-ons. They're adorable with all the many flowers. Look how great and shiny the gold tone is. Nice and clean. Acrylic with the little gold dot in the middle of the flowers. Those are so sweet. How about $5 on those? Next, we have a pair of earrings that is signed. And they are, hmm, really tough to read. Let's try the other one. Oh, these are Duplays. Um, D-A something P-L-A-I-S. It's a very expensive brand. They go for a lot of money, and this is a pair. 
So this is very lovely. Definitely feels like suede. And yeah, these go for a lot. Maybe I'll have to look these up and see. Hi everyone, I promised that I would stick this little portion into the video to finish filling our Babsy craft jar, okay? So thank you for letting me kind of mess around and do that in a different way. Sometimes things don't get finished on one video, so I'll make a little video and paste it into the next. So let's finish seeing what we've got in here. So I'm gonna put in this multi-layer necklace it has some lovely mesh chains, some very dark faux pearls, box chain. It's a little tangled and it's broken, but it's got some really lovely rhinestones. So I put that in Babsy. And there's this really pretty mesh bracelet. It has some yellow orange rhinestones. I love this. It is on a stretch, but it needs a little help in the jewelry hospital. Then we have a tie pin, nothing wrong with it. And we have this necklace that is on a braided, um, maybe leather, not sure, but maybe you can use some of those components. This is a really cool snake chain, but it's got some wear. It is an oldie though, so that goes in. Next, I have this beautiful red beaded. It is acrylic, but look at the clasp that's on it. I mean, I just couldn't get over how pretty the clasp is, so I had to offer it to you all. Um, I think the only issue is that these beads are so light, so I wasn't sure how to sell it. I thought I would put it in the craft jar. And I hope someone's happy with that. It is a graduated necklace, vintage. Nothing wrong with it. It's just very lightweight, so I wasn't sure. And what else have I been collecting? An art glass bead. A lovely little heart pendant. This is a single clip-on. Has some kind of little pinkish color there, but hopefully you can use that. Now this piece I've had for a long time. I don't know the maker. It does feel like a really high quality piece. This feels like a really strong, maybe, it feels like glass. And then you have this very strong silver tone, thick metal, and then look at this bead. It's just encrusted with rhinestones. But I think some of the rhinestones have come out of here. Like maybe you can see right here. So I've had it for a long time to put with jewelry sets, but I just never felt like I could put it with them. So I'm gonna put it in the craft jar and see what you think. I think it's a beautiful bracelet to wear, but it's up to you what you wanna do with it. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's gonna go in. You know, I never had a chance to show you my new bracelet. It's a sterling silver filigree panel bracelet, and I am so in love. It's so soft, it's so thin, and just lovely. I'm really enjoying it. So I thought you might want to see that. You might have seen a new thing on my wrist, and I know that you guys always like it when the YouTubers share what they're wearing. Now these pieces I think might be jet. I do not know, I can't be so sure. But they came on a necklace and the necklace broke. They have the grain like their wood. Uh, wait, they could be coral, could be black coral. See that? But I just don't know. So I'm gonna put all of those in there. So I hope you love those. And then there's this super cute ring with a purple stone. It is a costume ring. I think it's about a size eight. Has a little wear on the tone, but isn't it cute? Then there's this little bit of chain. This is in good shape, a little gold tone something. Now this is, I think, a religious pendant and a rose, yes. And I think I have it marked as 800 silver. It's not marked, but it tested as sterling, but not very strong. So my guess is 
maybe 800 silver. I'll leave that little tag on there, but not exactly sure. Then I have this pin, a little bit of yellowing, but it is a lightweight filigree type pin. It is an older one, just might need those stones taken off and reapplied because the glue gets a little yellowed after a while. And then we have this peacock feather earring. I was hoping I had two of these. That needs a little wiping up though. Let me wipe that. And then some beads here. This, not sure if it's sterling or not or what it went to, but that's going in. Now this piece is a heartbreaker. This really made me so sad because I love this necklace. So it's a black faceted and white faceted. Gorgeous West Germany necklace Vintage, beautiful, hand-knotted, absolutely stunning. And I tried to clean it because at the end it had some verdigris at the clasp that says West Germany on it. See it right there? So I tried to clean it and this little end fell off. So there is a knot there so that the beads aren't coming off after here. So you have the entire necklace, but this would be your extension. It has been soaked and cleaned the best I can, but oh my gosh, if someone can bring this back to life, it is such a beautiful necklace. The glass is gorgeous. It is West Germany, like I said. So I'm hoping that you'll enjoy the beads and do something wonderful create something new out of it, or fix it and wear it, or sell it, whatever you can do. And I hope you'll write to me, or maybe post a picture on Facebook in my Blessed Baubles Facebook group on the jewelry that you make out of these. I would love to see that. I'm reaching for a little creamy, wipey thing, because I want to put this peacock earring in there, nice and wiped up, the best I can. I mean, when things go in the craft jar, they can't be perfect because that's kind of why they're in there, because we don't always have time to do everything. All right, well, it looks a lot better, so that goes in. And let's see, what else do I have? Oh, this is so... Mm, mm, mm. So this is an entire glass necklace, and I'm going to, I usually don't put big necklaces in, but I think it's going to really be worth it and top this off nicely. It's all glass. Look at the beads. Beautiful blue, incredible, right? Awesome. But all of a sudden, when you get to the clear ones, the wire inside has caused a little bit of red color, I guess, from moisture over time. Not sure how to get that out, but that's the only issue with this necklace. It's beautiful, but everywhere you see the clear bead, you can see a little bit of something happening right there. But look at the beads. Look at this one. Isn't it lovely? And this one with the roses. So if you know how to get that sort of thing out, let me know. I'm pretty sure I did soak the necklace for a little bit, but I didn't want to introduce more moisture to it. So I dried it under the fans for a couple of days and it stayed that same color. But again, I don't know how to get that out. Maybe there's a solution. So those are all your beads. It's quite substantial. I hope you will love that. And this is our Babsy Craft Jar. I will say 25 on Babsy. So if you love it, send me an email right away because they go so fast. And I will put a piece of bubble wrap on top and a little bit of tape so the tape doesn't stick to your jewelry. And I'll ship it to you. Just know that it'll be a little bit for shipping. So let me know what state you live in so I can estimate it correctly. And a little white bead. I think that goes to the West Germany. So that's it for our Babsy craft jar. I hope you love it. Also, 
If this jar sells and you're disappointed, do not despair because I have lots of these pre-made craft jars full of craft jewelry all already pre-made. And I also have jars this size. Excuse the little tape on here, but in my eBay store, I have bigger jars like this that are full of all wearable jewelry and they sell for $39.99. And I have big jars like this of craft and wearable. I put about this much craft on the bottom and the rest of it is wearable. And I think those are $29.99 on eBay or on my, in my channel right here. If you'd like some all wearable jewelry jars for around $40, $39.99, just send me an email and I'll fill you one up and you can have that. And if you'd like a jar of craft jewelry, I can do those at any time, too. So just thought I'd tell you. Okay, we'll get back to the video. Okay, so I was able to look up these Carol Duplay's earrings. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. And they had the exact suede earrings for $45. So I do know that they go for a lot. I'll put some nice backs on them. They're in great shape. And... My price won't be 45, I'll say 30, okay? So there you go, and some nice designer earrings for 30. Beautiful statement too. Okay, next we have these little acrylic heart earrings. They are very sparkly and lightweight. I think I'll put them in the craft jar and you can enjoy them and wear them if you'd like. We've got, oh, I remember seeing another one of these on the board. I'll take that back off. Oh, these are signed. What do you say? Woo! This says, I need to be cleaned. <laughs> That's what it says. Clean me, please. They say made in the USA. I've only seen a few other vintage pieces of jewelry signed made in USA, and they've always been very nice. So there you go, made in USA with a little cleaning. Nice post earrings. They have enameling on the front. Oh, isn't that pretty? They did like um, an orange, then a yellow, then a green, and then they swirled it together. That's so pretty. And here's the other one. And again, I'll clean them up and put a nice back on them. I love the quality of the metal and just how cute they are. And I'll say seven on these. So pretty. Okay, what else? We've got to go. This is a very lovely rose earring. Looks like it says something on the back. And it's a trefari. Beautiful pair of trefari earrings. Clip-ons, gold tone. Great shape. Let's turn them this way. So they would be worn this way. <gasps> Oh, they're pretty. That is so pretty with a nice, like, ivory color blouse on and some maybe black faceted <laughs> Swarovski necklace. That'd be really pretty with some white beads. Oh, I can see it all. These are very lovely. And I'm going to say 17 on the Trafari. Great condition. Oh, 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 oh. I would love to pair those up with something. Okay, I found my other cunning baby. I found it. The Hong Kong earring that I just melted over on my other episode. Gotta get these out of the way. What am I gonna do with this pretty baby? Am I gonna be able to let you go? Am I gonna, oh my goodness, Oasis. So cute. I guess I should show you how they hang because that's really where the beauty is. Look at that. So they're just so beautiful. I love all the prongs. I love that they're signed Hong Kong. And I just can't imagine the necklace that they went with. Oh, I don't know if I can let them go. Oh, okay, I'm going to say 20. We'll see what happens. You've got the filigree, the incredible vintageness. Those are really collectible, I think. 
So I'll say 20 and see how it goes. Oh, so cute. Hey, this looks like an oldie too. Got some pretty red earrings. You know it's hard for me to stop. Look at all these red earrings. <gasps> Gorgeous. This looks like a moon glow vintage turn back earring. See if it's a sterling. I'm not seeing that it says sterling. Where's your other baby? Okay, I don't see it right now, but I know we're going to find it. Wait, is that it? No. Okay, we'll put that aside. But I do see these gorgeous red faceted earrings. So let's go with these right now. Come on, honey. Let us go. I know. Silver tone, very shiny. Turn back earrings as well. Not seeing a mark. This feels like that really nice, maybe thermoset, but look at the faceting and how sparkly. And I would say, are those, would you say they're huggies? Because they would come right up on the earlobe, or that's just how these earrings work, I would think. They are beautiful. They're coming out a little orangey red, but they're just as red as you can be in real life. So pretty. I'll say $8 on those. I'll go 7 but they're very nice. Faceting is beautiful. Then we have another button one and another really deep red faceted. Oh, I've got the other, um, like a very soft teal color pierced earring. These are the ones that have the quality vintage backs on them, so I'm going to leave them on. They do look a little bit different colors. This looks a little bit more green and this more blue. So, um, in the craft jar, or I don't think there'd be another pair that would be matching. I think that's just how these are. So I am going to put them in the craft jar. Okay. I have some quality backs. We still didn't find anything for this to go to. We didn't quite finish the bag yet either. These look very real, but they're not. And look at the back on them. That's a nice back. So we have these super real looking triple faux pearl earrings. What a nice luster. Let me just make sure. Yeah, they're not real. They don't feel cold like real would. And I'm going to leave those back so I think those are nice. And I'll say $6 on those. What a great look without wearing your real pearls out. Okay, I am loving this enamel piece. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm trying to find some matchings. This is like a mustardy swirl enamel earring. Nice quality on these. I like those backs on them too, they're clean. Gold tone button earrings. I'll say four on those. Nice, thick, old-fashioned enameling. Okay. This is our second earring. Hey, you waited for your mate. You waited for your mate, and now he is here or she. We have orange and a beautiful teal faceted earring. If you bought something already with these colors, you'll know. They feel cold like glass, but they're not testing as glass. I have to see if Miss Prissy's pen is on the blink. They are bezel set, faceted. That's the back, really nice condition. Pierced earrings. And I'll say six on those. Love those colors together. So I may have to put these back. Let's see. Beautiful pink crystal. Ooh, that looks like sterling silver. Definitely lapis. And ooh, look at the briolette. Let's see if that's aquamarine. I just bought a new pen for Miss Prissy, and it didn't work. So I have to return it. 
and I'm going back to the previous pen. It is a gemstone. I don't know which one. Oh, let's hope the other earring is here. Do we have it on our board? No. I would have remembered finding that one. Okay, we gotta find that other one. Because that is too beautiful to leave you all hanging with that. <gasps> oh. Okay, come on, lovey. And look, I found the other one of these. I'm getting so distracted. Look at the check glass. And someone said in the comments this might be a pear. Like a, you know, a pear that you eat. Look at the leaf on it. Oh my gosh. All right, I have to stop and go to the other one. Oh, can I let these babies go? Sterling silver marked on there. Cunning little babies. Like a little purple pear or maybe a flower. I can't stand it. Wow, I love these. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say 17. I think they're just so beautiful and really worth it. And sterling silver. I mean, what can we get at the store for 17 nowadays? This? I don't know. I think they're worth it. Okay. So that's those. And we were looking at this lapis. Beautiful earring. Can I find the other one? Quick enough. I see some more orange pieces. Really want to find this other one for you, but I don't want to keep you either. So we are trying to find that one. I did. I found it. Awesome. So let me just look at it. Hmm. It's not Mark Sterling, but I would bet the ranch it is, and that those are lapis. And isn't that a beautiful briolet, briolette, sorry. Briolette, Deborah. Briolette. Deborah is a um, subscriber and a wonderful part of our group. And she sent me a little video on how to say briolette. And we just laughed because you go on this little video and it just says briolette, briolette. So that was so funny. I'm going to check the stone again. Of course, it's a real one. And the little lapis beads. And what are these little pink ones? They are probably quartz. The only thing I can do is test these because I don't have the time to really scrutinize and look for a mark on them to see if they're sterling, but I can't imagine they're not. So I'm going to very gently test the earring wires and let you know for sure if that's what they are. And I hope you enjoyed the sterling testing. On my last video, I had a lot of fun doing that. I was a little worried that I was taking too much time, but I think just the education and the fun of using both solutions when I tested that metal was really fun. So this is the 18K solution, and I am seeing a blue color. Maybe not as much as I'd like to see, so I probably went too daintily in trying to test it. So let me use a different area. I don't want to use the wire and then have an issue when you go to put them on, you know. Oh yeah, that's other the other test is turning blue. And so is this one. So I'm right that they are sterling. See how nice and blue that is. So we have sterling and lapis and briolette lovely earrings that might have a piece of um, aquamarine, but I cannot tell. That's a tough stone to tell, but it's a beautiful color. So we've got these gorgeous. Those would be so stunning to wear. And I'm going to say 24 on that. I'll have to put my little ticket on there to remind myself that they are sterling. Oh, I wish I could keep going. In fact, I think I'm probably going to sit here and continue videotaping my next episode. But for this episode, I will have to sign off. 
And we didn't find anything for this. Oh, I do have these Kenneth Cole earrings. They are onyx and they are rock crystal. Mm, I wanted to test them for sterling as well. I forgot. I tested the stones and they are all definitely real. And the earrings say that they're semi-precious stones. Since I opened my mouth, I'm going to have to finish because I don't want someone to fall in love with them and then not know the full information about them. So let's test this quickly. Testing the wires for sterling. No. They're not sterling, I don't think. But they're not magnetic. And that is a big piece of onyx, and this is all rock crystal. I mean, look how big that is in my hand. So I am really amazed that that wouldn't be sterling. So I'm going to check again just in case it's a patina issue. And let's be sure. Might have to switch to my uh, silver testing. Oh, I think they're sterling plated over brass because I can see a brass tone. So, well, that's a good material to have underneath. Sterling over silver over brass. But that's a great piece of onyx, pretty big size, and all of that rock crystal. So, lovely earrings. Not sure if that is the maker, but it does say on the back, semi-precious stones, or on the front. Yeah. So these are nice. I'm going to say 22 on those. Okay. I'm going to get ready for my thumbnail. And again, I forgot to tell you how to purchase the jewelry as the video went on, but I'll try to plug some little bits in between and post that information. But before we go, I'll remind you really quick. My email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and please send me the video name with episode number, the timestamps when your pieces show. If you pause your video, the timestamp will be on the left. Brief description of the jewelry and the price. Okay, just remember to put a one, two, three, four in the vid in the email to me, and you can fill in this information with the requests that you have for the pieces that you like. All right, thank you very much for that. And also on your way out, if you put a thumbs up, I would appreciate it very much. I'll be looking for you in the comments. I love talking to you all, and I just realized we didn't finish the Babsy jar. Perhaps I will record myself filling this up, and I'll stick it within the video. So if you see me all of a sudden filling a Babsy jar in this video, you'll understand that I went back and I plugged that into my video, okay? So thanks again. I hope you'll subscribe, and I hope you'll like the video and hit the bell. And come on, thumbs up. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye!